Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly forecast. Now this is for the month of February. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way, okay? I've actually changed the uh, setup of my table because the um, you know the position of my table before in my office is not you know the right place in uh, Feng Shui at this point. Anyway. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way, Gemini. Okay. I'll be pulling out more clarification cards later on, okay? Hmm, looks like you're going to be moving to a new place or a new house. Some of you just recently bought a house, or some of you just recently sold a house. And you are so happy this month. But I feel like it's, you know, be very careful with your finances at this point. Because this is not really the right time for you to splurge. Or be overly generous to others. Okay. You will also be traveling. Or there will be some business related matters or work related matters that you have to attend to in a different place but you've been having some second thoughts about it because of some uh, personal issues now let's take a look while in your relationship it looks like you just need to communicate well because you still have a long way to go but it seems like you're just starting you know, you know, like uh, new beginnings are all over again, or there's a new chapter that two of you are trying to rebuild and trying to, you know, um, take a journey. So, let's see. Be very careful around animals, especially if you'll be visiting zoo or you will be taking somebody there or it could be your children, you know, to go to the zoo because I feel like there will be some bit of an accident, okay, or like, a, like an unexpected thing that's going to be happening and you might just get involved with that, you know, um, problem. I mean, you know, when uh, someone actually just uh, uh, get out of their cage, people will be running away, of course. And uh, also be careful of wild animals because uh, they might just bite you. Anyway, you're going to be a little bit accident prone this month. Okay, so be very careful about it. Now... Hmm. Now this month, when it comes to your domestic life, or domestic relationship, uh, there are things to the two of you, you and your loved one. Okay, if you're already married or if you're already in a relationship, then I feel like you will be starting all over again with a chance of a baby on the way or having a baby or that you will learn that your partner is pregnant or that you are pregnant, okay? And there are also some of you who is going to be going for an expansion, <laughs> renovation, buying new furniture, remodeling or something like that or that you will be um, changing a few fixtures or 
you know, like there's something minor that you will be doing to your place or to your house right now. Or some of you will be moving to a new house or will be selling a property, you know. So finances will be very light during this month. And you will also be very happy because it seems like you are really moving to the right direction. And that there will also be some positive changes that you will be seeing, okay. Now... If you're single, it seems like you're going to be reunited with somebody that you used to be or somebody that is actually your soulmate, okay? Somebody that you are um, more accustomed to, someone who knows you well or someone who knows you from head to foot and somebody that you don't really have to, like, pretend, okay, or mask yourself or wear a mask. Um, and it seems like the two of you will be giving it another kick, okay? Another, I mean, th this time. Especially if it's a fire sign, okay? Now, I also feel like this fire sign is much more financially independent or financially established, especially at this point. They're living, I'm getting to initials, okay? They're living, either it's a city that starts with letter M or S, okay? And it seems like you, this is the one that you really want to have a family with, that you still want to end up with, you know, that this part of the years that has already passed by and this part of all those years that it's either of you haven't really seen or talked to each other, Feelings are still there. It hasn't really faded away. And it seems like this person has been waiting for you for, you know, for like a certain period of time as well. So, I feel like you will be very happy to see and to know that this person at the time that you will be approaching them again will still be available. And, you know, with a bonus of still having the same feelings. The only thing here is... You'll feel so stuck in a situation, a relationship, or, yeah, situation, relationship, or some responsibilities at this point. Because I feel like this person lives in another place or another city. So, obviously, when there are times that you really want to see each other, or that you want to, you know, like, go on a vacation or visit this person, it's going to be a little bit impossible for you because you'll be tied up with your responsibilities. But, the good thing here is money will be very, very, very good and light. Anyway, speaking of money, let's take a look at your careers and finances. Like what I said, you will be traveling that is related to your work, but you're going to have some second thoughts whether it is the, really the right time for you to do this or for you to go through this because there are some um, people or team members or like, you know, co-workers that are just waiting for you to get caught off guard or just you know like uh, not going to be so conscious or you when you are not really able to watch your back and they're just going to simply attack you there are some pending projects that you are very keen to finish on your own or that you really want to hand it over right before you travel but the time is a little bit tight and the time for you to go and for you to attend whatever it is is also fastly approaching so you will be entrusting someone that unfortunately while you're away will also prove to be untrustworthy so be very careful that if ever that you there is something that's pending or a document or anything that's confidential that you're currently going through or having or handling or working on right now it is much better for you to entrust it either with your boss or entrust it with someone that you know um, can protect you which is it is uh, someone younger than you okay it's um it's it's either it's a woman that looks like a man or it's a man that looks like a woman and this is a younger fire sign all right now when it comes to your love life like what i said there will be a lot of you know um <clears throat> more of communications especially if you just got married or if you just you know moved in together or if you're just trying to have a dry run of your relationship, if the two of you can really live together, tolerate each other's craziness, and if the two of you can definitely work it out together somewhere, somehow, especially the two of you are too different. 
Now, communication is a plus, okay? And I feel like that is the number one thing that you should work on, especially that <clears throat> um, you're not really good in expressing yourself and you're not really good in explaining yourself. Um, I also feel like you need to balance out your relationship that it's, you know, you shouldn't make it only is about money and finances or stability. The two of you are very, let's say, you know, like the two of you are b both high profiled or the two of you are um, in a high ranking position or the two of you are very ambitious and you, both of you will be putting career or finances first before one another, which is I don't see any problem with that. You know, some people actually say that <clears throat> once you're already married and your priorities are changed and you should put your family or your love first before your career and stuff like that. Which is, for me, um, as long as the person is um, irresponsible, giving you the life that you're needed, that you want, and you know you're having all the luxuries in life that you're, you're able to afford i feel like there's nothing wrong with that you know um because the problem here is that <clears throat> i feel like the other person in a relationship is very needy and too codependent okay so that is the i feel like that is also what you need to keep on working on because if the other person is too needy always looking for attention always looking for validation and too demanding then there will be an imbalance because both of you have to work okay even if both of you are you know like in a good position you have good jobs and stuff like that both of you have high salaries you know but if the other person is more I mean, if the two of you are just way too um, obsessed with the validation or either one of you, then it's not really going to work out. Anyway, there are some investments that will finally be coming to fruition, which is you have both started this. And I feel like if you've been saving money, you know, for a certain period of time to, to, to buy a house or to buy something that you really wanted to have, especially that you've been like uh, trying to save money to buy a house in a different place, you know, there's this place or city or country that you have visited in the past and you've said i want to buy a house here okay i want to live here or i want to have a vacation spot here and finally you know this is also the month where the two of you will be checking oh hey you know like we already have enough you can buy the dream house of yours or you we can buy that you know that dream house that we have uh, talked about so you're going to be surprised that your your partner has been paying attention to your wants and needs and even though that you've been fighting and constantly bickering back and forth you will be feeling a little bit relieved because you know your partner is still thinking more about you which is obviously and it will just give you that idea that it's also time to give or to pay attention to your partner okay and to whatever that makes them happy so that is how things are going to be balanced i don't see any problem with your relationship this month and good for you now when it comes to your sex life singles uh, i feel like you're going to be dating somebody who's a pervert okay um, to some of you who's been looking for, especially if you're out on a dating spree, you're still in the market, and you're still looking for somebody that can really match your libido or your, you know, your profile, I feel like definitely you're going to get somebody, but it seems like this person has some psychological problems because either they want to do it in front of other people, let's say, for example, that in the cab or while you're uh, watching movies or while you're in a um, restaurant and you know like something like that okay and for you it's a little bit exciting but at the same time it will also be affecting your reputation because um, you're a little bit conservative your game you know for any other sexual whatever but um not in public because for you it's like you're you have a reputation to take care of and also you're a professional okay so there will be a few things that you're not going to be in favor of this person that you're going to be meeting and i don't really feel like this whole dating thing is going to last i can only see it's going to be lasting for eight days eight weeks or eight months okay 
I don't see any problem with the um, chemistry or connection. In fact, that you are the one who will still be looking for somebody else. Okay. This person is fun and spontaneous when it comes to bed or when it comes to sexual stuff. But when it comes to romantic flares or when it comes to stability, you know, others will be very questionable. Not to mention that they will also be very discreet and very, um, very, uh, what do you call this, um, secretive when it comes to their personal information. Okay. So be very careful about that. And... Make sure that you will also be getting to know somebody before bringing them to your place. Okay? Now, I also feel like some Geminis, especially if you're already married or already in a relationship, some of you have been missing out in your sex life or in that department. Okay? Um, it has been a long while and it seems like the two of you are just... Either you don't have time to do it, you don't want to do it because there is something else that you want, or that you feel like your partner is just treating sex as like, you know, like a normal appetite and no foreplay or something like that, okay? So, like what I said, you need to talk. You need to settle down your differences, and you need to tell your partner what actually makes you tick. Now, when it comes to your... When it comes to your health, feeling a little bit down, depressed, preoccupied, unfocused, lethargic, and like what I said, be very careful in visiting any animal, uh, you know, a place where there are too many wild animals or there are some possible animals in a, you know, like, play, like in, a, in the, the woods or in a park or something like that, you know, wherever it is. And... Oh, and I feel like be careful with beaver, okay? So, or if you're going to go to the zoo, so be very careful about that, okay? Now, like what I said, you're going to be a little bit preoccupied and focused. I also feel like there are some underlying problems when it comes to your eyes and to your brain that you need to go and see the doctor, okay? High blood pressure, high cholesterol, ulcer, and kidney issues will also be seen and is all you know will also have a high probability plus you need to drink a lot of water you're not really drinking you're dehydrated and i also feel like sometimes the reason why you feel so lethargic is because lack of water now don't self-medicate okay there are some things that the tv will be experimenting to yourself because you feel like doctors are not really helping that much but i feel like just go for second opinion instead of having some self-medications be a little bit more hygienic with your food. Um, also, be careful with lead poisoning, okay, and molds. Plus, you're either you're going to be overly sleepy or you're going to have some problems sleeping at night. And then you're going to be so sleepy during the morning or during the daytime. Now, it seems like you're really guided with your journey. As I feel like you're already approaching, you know, the greenery or you're already in the right track. It's still a long way to go. It's like a long, long, long way to go. But you're already in the right track and somebody will also be, you know, letting you into their shelter for a little while. I mean, not literally, but what I'm trying to say is someone will be shedding you their advices, their wisdom, their, op their opinions, and their guidance towards you, the journey that you're currently taking because you're looking or you're searching for some spiritual nourishment and for somebody who would actually take you there, you know, in that place to um, nurture you and hone you and tell you the things that you needed to do or that you really need to know now don't get so distracted and don't allow any other distractions um take uh like take you in a different route okay because there is a possibility of you getting lost okay and also hitting the storm now um also, I feel like you're going to be going through some thorny situation or there are some people that you thought are, are okay or they're helpful or something like that. But unfortunately, they're just going to turn out to be as flaky, okay? 
as you think they are so be very careful with the people that you will be trusting all right anyway that's it for you for this month gemini if you want to talk to me live the phone and live the calls just go and visit me at my website at all right blessings to you